Hello, and welcome to the channel. Right now I'm going to take you on a walking tour of the Fantasy Island Amusement Park. This is a, a small family attraction that's located in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. And I decided to visit today because uh, for the 2024 season they opened up uh, three new rides. This is a pretty small park. It's only sp uh, spread over a, a couple of uh, city blocks. So there's not a lot here going on. Uh, according to the website they have about 18 amusement park rides as well as the arcade and uh, that seems like a pretty accurate number. Now coming up on my right hand side is one of the brand new rides that they've added for the season. This particular ride is a swinging pirate ship so it's a pretty standard fare for an amusement park like this. The name of this one is Sea Dragon's Revenge. There used to be a ride just like this in the park when it first opened uh, and that was the Sea Dragon. So the original incarnation was known as the Sea Dragon, so they kind of put in a newer version of it. Uh, this ride is updated and has some new features. I believe it's got um, uh, stereo music playing in the, the seats. So uh, they did um, kind of uh, bump up the capabilities of the Sea Dragon. So it's kind of a nice little uh, attraction. I didn't get a chance to ride it. The lines were really long the day I was here. Uh, they were doing some sort of uh, discounted special because I, I guess I was on a Friday afternoon and um, uh, the park was packed so uh, apparently this park is thriving. As a kid I spent my summers in New Jersey and uh, I grew up basically going to all the amusement parks here so I've been to pretty much every single um, park on the Jersey Shore and I gotta say that this is definitely one of the nicest most meticulous ones that I know of. Uh, you know, Beach Haven is a really nice town, and, um, you know, you can see the attention to detail with this particular park. You know, they've got pavers on the ground where a lot of the other amusement parks just, like, paint the concrete, and, um, you know, the, the ride maintenance is meticulous. You know, everything is freshly painted each season, as far as I can tell, and uh, it's, just, it's just a really nice park. If you're looking for, you know, a small family type of um, park, to visit when you're on vacation in New Jersey and then this is a great option. Now this uh, black and blue train that's on my right hand side is another one of the uh, the new rides for the season and it's you know it's your standard uh, kitty train nothing to really call home about. This is um, still just a nice park. The last time I visited uh, Seaside Heights or Keensburg those amusement parks were looking pretty forlorn and the level maintenance just wasn't nearly as nice as it he is here at uh, Fantasy Island. So the biggest elephant in the room probably is you're going to notice a lack of thrill rides. This is uh, park is, is basically catering just for families. Um, anybody who's probably 12 years old or older is not going to be interested in the amusement park section at all. They really don't have any thrill rides. There's nothing, you know, there's no space for like a big roller coaster here. I think the teenage audience would still appreciate the arcade. There's a lot of great arcade games, um, but um, when it comes to the amusement park itself, it's just not for them. They do have this um, little SBF Visa spinning roller coaster, but come on, man. It, it, those things are terrible, so not, gonna, not really worth talking about. The closest amusement park that has real roller coasters would be Castaway Cove in Ocean City. Uh, that one's got a couple decent uh, steel coasters. Obviously, if you're in New Jersey and you're really a big thrill seeker, you're going to end up going to Six Flags. Uh, that park is basically unrivaled when it comes to the big roller coasters. Uh, you can find a couple decent coasters on the Jersey Shore, but um, obviously they have got nothing that uh, really rivals um, Six Flags. Now, before I forget, I'm going to mention the third ride that was added for the 2024 season. Uh, there was a little uh, tiny version of the Sea Dragon uh, called Kai's Dive. It was a little uh, light blue and yellow uh, ride that was right in front of the, the new train ride. You know, it's just a little kiddie ride. Don't get your, your hopes up, obviously. You know, only toddlers can ride the thing. It's a really tiny one, but uh, I figured I'd mention it before I, uh, you know, got sidetracked on the commentary. One of the things that I have to give Fantasy Island some credit for is they have such a, a diversity of these uh, like skill games uh, that you see at the Jersey Shore, spraying with the water cannons and uh, doing the basketball hoops and all stuff. They I don't think I've ever seen a small park with just as many um, skill games as this one. So this this one definitely has an advantage over the other smaller parks, especially if you're here to try to win a stuffed animal off the wall. Now coming up on my right hand side is the Shark Bites Grill. Um, this is the, I guess, the snack bar slash restaurant uh, here at uh, Fantasy Island. 
the food is a little pricey, but the quality is pretty good. Um, I stuck to just having a, like a waffle cone ice cream. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, the pulled pork and a lot of the other items on the menu, uh, they had a pretty nice aroma even if I didn't eat them. You definitely have uh, some, you know, decent food options. I mean, it's, it's typical of what you would expect on the Jersey Shore. You're going to end up spending probably like 15 bucks if you want a full lunch. You know, the food is pretty good. Uh, just behind the Shark Bites Grill is the arcade, and that's like the other attraction. Although, um, I didn't film inside the arcade. It was really, really crowded that particular day, and I didn't want to bump somebody with the GoPro. I skipped it. The GoPros don't really film very well inside anyway, so it didn't. It just didn't seem like it was worth filming. So as you can see, I'm now curving around the uh, the carousel again and kind of headed back to the front of the park. You can tell this is a park that's just uh, you know built for uh, toddlers and you know small kids. Uh, it's a it's a park basically exclusively of flat rides for the most part. You know they got a drop tower, but um, it's basically a traditional family entertainment center. They're, de they're not trying to go for the, the Six Flags crowds, although, I'll be honest with you, the, the last couple times I've been to Six Flags Great Adventure, it was a really big disappointment. Uh, their operations are just terrible lately. You know, a lot of the, the roller coasters are only loading single single trains. Certain rides that should be, you know, 15-minute waits are like 90-minute waits. So, walking around Fantasy Island was just a much more pleasant experience than going to a Six Flags. And it, it's just because of the chaos right now from the merger with Cedar Fair and you know, it's just the, the the park operations have really been suffering, and they're just not giving their customers a good experience. Thanks for joining me on this walking tour of Fantasy Island Amusement Park. If you enjoyed this vlog of the Adventure Schmuck, don't forget to like and subscribe.